Step into the time machine of television history, back to a mesmerizing era when black and white screens whispered tales of espionage and camaraderie. Picture yourself perched on the edge of a threadbare couch, eyes glued to the glowing screen as the 1965 TV series, I Spy, unfolds before you. Do you remember that first encounter, the curious anticipation that tugged at your curiosity? The show's blend of suspense and humor was a revelation, drawing you into a world where international intrigue met unlikely partnerships. As the opening credits rolled and the iconic theme music reverberated through the room, you were introduced to Kelly Robinson and Alexander Scott, two secret agents traversing the globe in their quest for truth. With the magnetic charm of Robert Culp and the indelible coolness of Bill Cosby, these characters painted a new shade of companionship on your imagination's canvas. The chemistry was palpable, their camaraderie infectious, every exchanged quip and shared glance etching itself into your memory. And then, the adventures. Those heart-pounding moments that kept you teetering on the precipice of your seat. The tension of cloak and dagger operations interwoven with the levity of friendship, making I spy a whirlwind of emotions. From the cobblestone streets of Europe to the bustling markets of Asia, you journeyed alongside Robinson and Scott, solving puzzles and outsmarting adversaries. Each episode was a passport to a new land, an invitation to savor the thrill of the unknown. But now, let's dive deeper, shall we? Beyond the familiar anecdotes lie the hidden gems, those lesser-known tidbits that shimmer like buried treasures. These random facts about the show will unveil the behind-the-scenes magic, the quirks that transformed the series into a timeless legend. So, fasten your seatbelt as we venture into the riveting world of I Spy, unearthing its secrets and celebrating its impact on the tapestry of television. I Spy, a pioneering television series that aired from 1965 to 1968, originated as an innovative blend of espionage and buddy comedy genres. The show starred Robert Culp as Kelly Robinson and Bill Cosby as Alexander Scott, two undercover agents posing as a professional tennis player and his trainer while traversing the globe to complete espionage missions. This groundbreaking series was the first to feature an African-American actor, Cosby, in a leading role on an American drama. The chemistry between Culp and Cosby's characters, along with their witty banter, added depth to the show's unique style. Their camaraderie and friendship in the midst of tense espionage situations provided both drama and humor challenging racial stereotypes of the time. The show's clever approach to addressing social issues through its plot lines was notable and contributed to its lasting impact. I Spy left an indelible mark on popular culture. It broke barriers by demonstrating that a diverse cast could carry a successful show, paving the way for greater representation in television. The series earned critical acclaim, winning several Emmy Awards, including Best Drama Series, and further solidified Cosby's career as an actor. Now, delving into some fascinating trivia about the show. The show's title was inspired by the phrase I spy with my little eye, referencing the spy genre. Notably, the show's crew had access to numerous exotic locations, lending an authentic international feel to the series. Additionally, the dynamic between Robinson and Scott was often compared to the real-life friendship between Culp and Cosby off-screen. I Spy remains a milestone in television history, heralding the convergence of genres and breaking down racial barriers in the entertainment industry. Its legacy continues to resonate in the ongoing push for diversity and meaningful storytelling in media. Bill Cosby's groundbreaking Emmy wins in I Spy, paving the way for diversity on screen in the annals of television history. The year 1965 stands out as a pivotal moment, marked by the debut of the espionage-themed series, I Spy. Amidst the cloak and dagger intrigue of the Cold War, the show masterfully weaved political tension into its narrative fabric, sparking both admiration and controversy. But it was the groundbreaking portrayal of Alexander Scott by Bill Cosby that truly left an indelible mark on the small screen. Cosby's portrayal of the suave and quick-witted spy not only captivated audiences, but also shattered barriers. His remarkable talent earned him a trio of consecutive Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. 
This extraordinary achievement made Cosby the first African-American actor to secure this honor, an accomplishment that would reverberate for years to come. Beyond its cultural significance, I Spy stood as a reflection of its era, navigating the intricacies of the Cold War landscape while probing the complexities of international espionage. Its impact was so profound that even the satirical wit of Mad Magazine couldn't resist its allure. The publication cheekily spoofed the series as Why Spy, a testament to the show's iconic status and cultural resonance. Yet, the series wasn't without its share of debates. The deft intertwining of political and cultural issues sparked discussions about its portrayal of the tense global climate. Some hailed its willingness to tackle these pressing matters, while others questioned its perspective. Nevertheless, I Spy ignited vital dialogues, serving as both entertainment and a mirror to society's concerns. In the ever-changing landscape of television, I Spy remains a touchstone. Bill Cosby's trailblazing performances, the humor-laden spoofing by Mad Magazine, and the show's fearless engagement with the issues of its time collectively cement its legacy. As we look back on the cultural tapestry of 1965, I Spy stands not only as a gripping espionage drama but also as a milestone on the path to a more inclusive and diverse on-screen landscape. Bill Cosby's impactful role in breaking TV barriers in 1965, a television series named I Spy embarked on a groundbreaking journey, shattering conventions and marking a significant milestone. Bill Cosby's portrayal of Alexander Scott not only defied racial norms, but also reshaped the dynamics of the show. Originally envisioned as a seasoned mentor to Robert Culp's trainee agent, Cosby's casting brought a twist that demanded a reevaluation of the narrative landscape. Executive producer Sheldon Leonard's decision to cast Cosby, inspired by his stand-up comedy, transformed the character's trajectory. Amid the turbulent times, Cosby's race couldn't be ignored. The writers felt the need to address it, leading to an early episode featuring Martin Landau. Landau's character aimed a racial jest at Scott, igniting a crucial conversation. Responding to this, both Culp and Cosby advocated for change. They united against perpetuating racial stereotypes, a stance that resonated throughout the series. Consequently, the show distanced itself from further racial humor. Beyond the screen, the camaraderie between Cosby and Culp continued to thrive after the series concluded. Their on-screen partnership blossomed into an enduring friendship, exemplifying the authentic connections fostered during the show's production. I Spy etched its name in history by being the first American dramatic TV series to feature a black actor in a lead role. This trailblazing move transcended entertainment, inspiring societal shifts. The scripts woven with unique lingo left an indelible mark, birthing catchphrases like wonderfulness. This very term, popularized by the show, later found its way into Cosby's comedy album title, a testament to the show's cultural impact. In an era marked by its resistance to change, I Spy stood tall, catalyzing conversations and shaping perceptions. The legacy of Bill Cosby's role in the series remains woven into the fabric of television history, reminding us that representation and camaraderie can defy norms and open doors previously bolted shut. Unveiling the intriguing drama behind the 1965 TV series I Spy in a candid revelation during a TV Guide interview, it came to light that the path to creating the iconic 1965 TV series I Spy was far from smooth. Bill Cosby, who would go on to become an integral part of the show's success, initially displayed reluctance towards the project. During his audition, Cosby even dared to insult the producers. It was Robert Culp, Cosby's future co-star, who stepped in as a mediator. With finesse, Culp navigated the strained situation, ultimately securing Cosby's casting and setting the stage for their remarkable on-screen partnership. The allure of exotic foreign locales gracing the backdrop of I Spy wasn't without its financial challenges. The series, lauded for its captivating visuals in international settings, consistently grappled with budget overruns. The allure of these global vistas wasn't easily contained within the constraints of production costs, resulting in a constant battle to keep expenditures in check. Yet, this financial tug of war didn't dampen the show's popularity, as audiences remained enthralled by the globetrotting escapades of Kelly Robinson and Alexander Scott. Amidst the intrigue and espionage, another noteworthy chapter emerged in the series' narrative. 
Robert Culp, known for his compelling portrayal of Kelly Robinson, made an auspicious entry into the world of directing. In an episode fittingly titled Home to Judgment, Culp assumed the director's chair, marking a turning point in his career. This leap into directing would shape his artistic trajectory, allowing him to seamlessly transition from acting to guiding the creative vision behind the camera. As the credits rolled on I Spy, a trail of captivating drama, financial juggling, and artistic evolution was left in its wake. The story behind the scenes proved to be just as riveting as the espionage-laden tales that unfolded on screen. The series' triumphant ability to surmount initial hurdles and budgetary constraints, combined with Culp's foray into directing, solidified I Spy as a true hallmark of 1960s television. So there you have it, a glimpse into the enthralling saga of the 1965 TV series I Spy, where determination, collaboration, and creative growth intertwined to produce an enduring classic. As we bid adieu to the vivid world of I Spy, we are reminded that its legacy, is not merely a fleeting moment on a screen, but a tapestry woven with threads of camaraderie, intrigue, and human connection. The series, like a timeless melody, continues to resonate in the hearts of those who embarked on espionage-laden adventures alongside Kelly and Scott. Each episode was a portal, a ticket to traverse distant lands and cultures, an exploration not only of espionage but of the human spirit, bridging gaps and highlighting the common threads that weave us all together. As we contemplate the journeys we undertook through the lens of this captivating show, we might uncover reflections of our own lives, experiences, and relationships. Your personal connection with I Spy might be like a cherished treasure chest, filled with memories of late-night viewings, shared laughter, and contemplative silences. It might be a reminder of the power of storytelling, how it unites generations, and creates conversations that bridge the gaps of time. We invite you to share those cherished moments, the fragments of stories and emotions that this series has conjured in your own narrative. How did Kelly and Scott's escapades impact you? Did it spark a curiosity for the world? Did it inspire a lifelong friendship or perhaps kindle a spark of creativity? Your reflections are not just a recollection, but an integral piece of the grand mosaic that celebrates the artistry of I Spy. So, let's gather these pieces of our shared experience and create a collage of memories, a virtual gallery of thoughts that honor the legacy of a show that dared to challenge conventions and boundaries. Your voice adds to the symphony of appreciation that continues to echo across time. Thank you for taking the time to journey back to the world of I Spy, for allowing it to become a part of your story. Your reflections breathe life into its enduring allure. Until we meet again for our next voyage into the realms of nostalgia and creativity, remember that these stories, like echoes in the wind, stay with us, guiding our own narratives.